Hey everyone, did you know that we live right next to a marine protected area? Today, I'm gonna to take you on an adventure of some of the things you might see if you were to go snorkeling in that marine protected area. Specifically, I'm gonna take you to my favorite dive spot and take you on a snorkel trip in front of the marine room and La Jolla Shores. So when you first enter the water, what you're gonna see is a vast area of sand. These sands in the summertime are dominated by leopard sharks, but they're not the only ones here. You may also come across a shovel-nosed guitarfish or a banded guitarfish. Some other sand-dwelling creatures you may come across are the thornback, which is a type of skate, a round ray, which you have to shovel your feet to avoid as you're getting in, a stingray, and halibut which camouflage themselves into the sand. At any given point on your snorkel, you're likely to see anchovies or top smelt swimming in pretty big schools at or near the surface of the water. These fish are fed on other organisms such as dolphins, sea lions, birds, and bigger fish. As you make your way over towards the reef, the rocky reef or algal reef, you'll start to see other fish. One of the most common is the calico bass, seen here. Another really common one are opal eyes. This is a sheep's head. Sheep's head come in very bright red and black when they're males and are a little bit bulky. But when they're females, they're more slim and come in a pinkish brown to pinkish gray. In the summertime, you can find these gorgeous giant golden schools of Salima. And in some areas, you might be able to find juvenile blacksmith hanging out in the water column in groups. One of the bigger fish you'll see are the white sea bass. They can get up to five feet, but usually are around three feet long at their biggest. Now, of course, the most bright and colorful fish you'll see is our California state fish, the Garibaldi. When they're juveniles, they have these really beautiful blue markings on them, which they eventually lose as they become adults. Now, if you look closely in the algae, there's some other fish that you might be able to spot. One such fish is the juvenile giant kelp fish. Another one is the largemouth blenny. And last but not least, the crevice kelp fish. All of these fish are highly adapted to blend in quite beautifully to the algae around them by looking just like it. Some other fish you might come across are sargo, zebra perch, black surf perch, senorita ras, which will sometimes follow you around, and half moons. Now, if you're lucky, you might come across some of La Jolla's charismatic megafauna, one of which is the green sea turtle, which migrate here. You'll find them chewing on red algae. Another such animal is the sea lion, which are very playful and you can find them over at La Jolla Cove. And in some areas you can find seals, often mistaken for sea lions, but are a little bit smaller. And in my opinion, a little bit more curious. Two of my favorite animals to see are the toke shark and the horn shark. Now, horn sharks are pretty small. They only get to about three feet long and will spend most of their time just kind of sleeping on the bottom. Tope sharks are a little bit bigger at around six feet long and they're incredibly beautiful and an amazing sight to see while you're snorkeling. Fortunately, these are completely harm harmless to humans so you don't have to be afraid to snorkel with them. They're migratory so they only are in La Jolla for certain times of the year, but in the summertime, usually in the evenings, you can find them in pretty big numbers in front of the marine room between the caves and the La Jolla shores. Unfortunately, they are targeted for fishing, so in some areas they're vulnerable and in other areas they're critically endangered. Some of the invertebrates you might come across are the California spiny lobster, which actually don't have any claws, sand dollars, giant sea hare, which come in a multitude of different colors, and kelp snails, 
and last but not least, not least, abalone. Now, of course, on your snorkel, you'll notice a huge array of different types of algae, as well as seagrass, making your snorkel that much more beautiful. So all you need is a snorkel, a mask, some fins, and maybe a wetsuit, because it can get kind of cold. And of course, a sense of adventure. And you too can go explore the marine protected area and see all of its incredible creatures, both big and small. And the best part is all of this is right here in your backyard. So go get out there and explore. <laughs>